Oh, howdy all. Grab yourself a beer. It's time for some Path of Exile discussion. Welcome to day seven of teaser season for the upcoming Arch Nemesis League and the 3.17 Siege of the Atlas expansion. Uh, today, there's only one piece of information and it is an interesting one. It's a divination card for a boss unique that has an interesting history. So, 3.11 Harvest League brought along a unique item called Forbidden Shaco that was mostly seen as a rubbish item at the time. But not a total rubbish item, but an item that was just not really good as a boss unique, outclassed by rares, and really outclassed by rares. Uh, so this dropped from the capstone boss of the Harvest Encounter. Then 3.12 brought a replica version of it, and the replica was far, far, far better. So you had Forbidden Shaco and you had Replica Forbidden Shaco. Now, a couple of leagues later, uh, GGG realized that there was a little bit of an imbalance with some of the bosses not having any chase items at all. And so there were some changes to the loot table for Uberatsuri, and there were some changes to the loot table for the Harvest Boss. And so the Harvest Boss, Forbidden Shaco stats were changed to match the old stats of Replica Forbidden Shaco from Heist. Replica Forbidden Shaco was removed entirely. And so the old version of Forbidden Shaco no longer dropped, but that was fine because no one really wanted it. So what does this item do? Uh, Forbidden Shaco is a bit of a wildcard item. It has three mods on it. Firstly, it's got a bunch of attributes. Uh, secondly, it has uh, socketed gems are supported by level 1 to 10 with any random support gem in the game, uh, excluding some special ones. So exceptional ones like Awakened Gems and Enlightening Power Enhanced and the like. Then, Socketed Gems are supported by a level 25 to 35 of some other support. Now, I've sorted them from most expensive to least expensive, and you will see a pattern. Obviously, some people just price their Forbidden Shaco at a ridiculous price for a joke, but of the ones that are pricing them seriously with an intention to selling them, the ones that are multiple, multiple mirrors are ones with Socketed Gems are supported by level 35 to one of the, skill, uh, one of the support gems, that scales aggressively with a gem level. Ice Bite being the best one. Uh, however, there is also Decay, which is a bit of a meme because it's the only way you can play Decay is on Forbidden Shaco. Uh, you could have a level 35 of added cold damage or added lightning damage. You could have level 35 of Vile Toxins, I believe it is, and a couple of others, uh, added Chaos even. And the ones that are also at the very top also have a useful second uh, a second mod as well. Though most of the time, if someone is using re replica, oh, sorry, if someone is using current form Forbidden Shaco or old version replica Forbidden Shaco, what they are typically looking for is to get level 34 or better Ice Bite, uh, because there's a huge jump between level 32, 33, 34, 35 Ice Bite uh, in terms of the amount of damage that they do. And then anything with it that doesn't ruin the item. So you can't use something like Brutality Support as your other one with it, uh, but you can use pretty much anything else. And you can get two of the same, uh, and that doesn't actually help you. So this repl uh, this Forbidden Shaco that you see here will have 33 Ice Bite, not the, the 10 is just a wasted line when that happens. Anyway, that should give you a bit of a sense as to what is going to drop here. Judging voices from a thematic perspective, uh, this feels like thematically it could be tied to the simulacrum, uh, but that's not guaranteed. And a lot of the time, boss like when a boss unique drops from a divination card, GG will make the decision as to where it drops based upon game balance rather than upon anything else. That's all I've got on this one. Uh, Mega Valorbs have interesting results, and don't use them on a Forbidden Shaco lightly because you lose the ability to hit the item with Divine Orbs, and a lot of the value of this item is its potential to, on average, once in every approximately 1,500 Divine Orbs, hit a level 35 of a very specific uh, support gem.